The area of the rectangle shown is 40 square inches. Find the length and the width of the rectangle. In looking at our picture of a rectangle, we see we have a length of x plus 7, a width given by 2x plus 3, and again that area is equal to 40 square inches. Let's start here by writing our area formula for the rectangle, which is area is equal to length times width. Now let's substitute values into this formula. We're given that the area is 40 square inches. The length is described as x plus 7, and the width as 2x plus 3. So we have an equation. Let's solve it for x. Start by simplifying the right-hand side by foiling. x times 2x is 2x squared. Outer product is 3x, inner product 14x. They sum to a 17x. Lastly, that's a plus 21. We see we have a quadratic equation here. Let's put it in standard form. So go ahead and subtract that 40 from both sides, giving 0 on the left and 2x squared plus 17x minus 19 on the right. Let's solve this by factoring. If that trinomial factors, it will factor as the product of two binomials. Our leading terms must be 2x and x to give a product of 2x squared. 19 is a prime number, so we don't have uh, uh, m many options there. We need a negative product, so let's try a plus 19 and a minus 1. Checking, 19x minus 2x gives that middle term of 17x. So we have a correct factorization. Now let's use our zero factor property. Either 2x plus 19 is 0, or x minus 1 is 0, or both, to give a zero product. Solve each linear piece. Subtract that 19 over and divide by 2 to get x is equal to a negative 19 halves or x is equal to 1. Now let's think about this proposed solution, negative 19 halves. That's a negative 9 and 1 half. If x is a negative 9 and a half, then the length given by x plus 7 is going to be a negative number. This proposed solution isn't going to work because the length of that rectangle isn't going to be a negative value. So because of that fact, we can just reject this possible solution right now. Throw that one out of there. Let's think about the x plus 1, though. If x is equal to 1, then our length is 1 plus 7. That's x plus 7, or 8. This was in the units of inches. And the width, then, given by 2x plus 3, is 2 times 1 plus 3. That's 5 inches. Let's just quickly check those possible answers. Notice that 8 times 5 does give an area of 40 square inches. So we feel pretty comfortable, then, that we have the correct solution, that the length is 8 inches, the width 5 inches.